right, this is our sun tracking solar panel. Uh, right now, at the moment, we have light bulbs so we can burn off a little bit of power to keep the batteries constantly charging. That's our sensor pack. DC disconnect box and measuring station. Charge controller. Arduino de Milanovi, as well as the motor drivers. This is our first linear actuator. That one's for the elevation. The linear actuator for the azimuth is down here. We have two 12 volt car batteries, uh, Marine Master. And power inverter which is where the light bulbs are plugged in, as well as a voltage supply at the moment. Coming over here, it's our data acquisition station. It's going to measure the voltage and current of the panel, as well as all the power it's taking for the tracking circuit, which is the Arduino and the motors. It's programmed over here in lab view. It's difficult to tell if that's easy to see or easy to hear with machinery going on behind me, but I could. Pop up the block diagram, you can see that as well, but this is our front panel uh, showing everything that I just mentioned we were measuring. And you're going to see it start to track, it tracks very slowly because it doesn't need to go fast because the sun moves slowly and I'm just going to hold it here until you see it move a few times. It should cycle a whole cycle about every 30 seconds but that doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to move every 30 seconds. And of course as soon as I start filming the clouds start to come out. In the meantime, I'll point out that we have 90 degrees on the bottom for the azimuth rotation. And uh, the middle of the 90 degrees, oh, there it goes, it just moved a little bit. It's saw that the sun moves positions. The middle of the 90 degrees should always point at true south to get the maximum amount of uh, current generated by the solar panels. I really just want to see the azimuth move. It might have moved while I was talking. I was too concerned with listening to myself. There's the elevation again. Doesn't look like the uh, azimuth wants to move at all. I'm going to try to mess it up. And you'll notice the, the elevation may move around a little bit. I'm going to move the pallet jack underneath it. And I'm going to try to turn it so that the azimuth wants to move, which is going to be left and right.
see if it wants to track again. There it goes. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I like to see. That's all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching my video.